the land of ranches and so much more. Today, this island surprised me with its great diversity, as I crossed it almost from tip to tip. Good morning from Baloud. Baloud with no waves because it's not named after waves. It's named after the pink-bellied imperial pigeon. Well, that's what Wikipedia says, so I hope it's right. This is Balani Beach. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. White sanded beach. Blue waters are oh, absolutely beautiful out here. But we've got to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head all the way around the island. There's really one main road that goes all the way to the other side in Katayangan. I don't know if I'll make it that far today, but let's see what's on the way. And let's really get that mass bad Enio spirit. I had to be careful how I said that. And as I hit the open road, one thing was very noticeable. From the beach and out of Balut town, we're just immediately transported into cattle country. Masbati is the second largest producer of cattle in the whole country after Bukidnon. And for a medium sized island, that's pretty good going. And one almost 300 hectare ranch is unique because it provides livelihoods to recovering drug and alcohol addicts. So they told me actually I can just ride around any roads I feel like and just have a look around. The missionaries are Brazilian. Of course Brazil's famous for cattle and they've uh, yeah they've just taken on people who are dependent on alcohol and drugs and this is this is how they rehabilitate. Ah, okay. Yeah. They, they don't bite. Ah, okay. Not fighting. No, okay, good. <laughs> Hello. Not fighting. Not fighting, yeah. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, only licking. <laughs> Hello. I'm back in the cafe. I had a chance to try one of their products. The reason I got a coffee. They make their own products, their own milk and cream and so on. And it's good kind of sits on top. It's really interesting. It's nice, eh? Mm. I'm from Brazil. Are you from Brazil? Yeah. yeah. Ah, hey, nice, nice, yeah, yeah. Eh? Your coffee's good? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's, what's in the coffee? What's, the milk's your own milk? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Da, and cross milk. Yeah, mm. it's really good. Mm. I like that. <laughs> thank, ah, you. thank you. Thank you, eh? What's your name? My name's Anselm. Anselmo. 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 Oh, come here, Anselmo. Anselmo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You stay here in the Philippines for more years? Seven or? years. Uh, seven years? Seven years here, yeah. Um, seven years. Seven years. Here in the Philippines. In, what name is it? In Davao. 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 Yeah. Only Davao. In Mindanao. Mindanao South, yeah. Two, two hours? No, no, two hours more. Uh, seven, uh, seven years. Seven, oh, two hours more. Two uh, hours flying. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, Manila. yeah. From Manila. From Manila, yeah. But by land, I can just go by land, or just motor. Wow. Yeah. Fazenda da Esperanza, the farm of hope. What these guys do is really, really awesome. From cattle country, I took a detour towards the hills. Heading towards Mandaon, a large limestone rock is visible on the otherwise flat plains. So this outcrop, just you just see it from afar. And this is something very, very famous. What on earth is this rose here? Oh, okay. Diversion route. I got it. No. But then my journey came to an abrupt pause. Batongan Rock, the other side of this fenced parcel of land. I'm not entirely sure what my guess is. Road right of way dispute, but it could just be they're trying to keep their cattle in. However, I don't see any cattle.
The reason I wanted to come here is this is very historically significant. However, I don't know where on earth this goes. No idea. That big rock has underneath it Batongan Cave. Bato meaning rock. So I had a look around it. It's signposted all the way up to that road that goes in and then you reach that gate and another gate and then I don't know what happens next. I had a look around. It's fenced off somewhere and somewhere else. Maybe I was looking in the wrong place, but that's a shame. So that right there is evidence of Bronze Age civilization here in the Philippines. 4,000 BC, 3,000 to 4,000 BC. So five to 6,000 years ago, there was already civilization here. And that would have been really, really cool to see that cave, but it's not to be, but there's the historic info. If someone called me this, I wouldn't be offended. I'd be like, yeah, fair enough. Thanks for calling me Poby. I was gonna go to Avaroy, but I'm gonna do it another time. What a shame I have to come back. The weather doesn't look great up here in this, this mountainous section. It's totally beautiful, and it's a different area of Masbati. It's, it's very different. But I think I'm gonna head towards the sunshine, down the coast along this thin strip of land that I can see just about there in the other direction because I need to get to Kataingan Kata <laughs> because Mintak is where the boat goes to Kalbayo from so I want to be down there just to check up on it and so on and so forth so I want to head that way anyway this area I wanted to explore but next time Masbati City first, I'm hungry Let's see if I can eat some beef now I've been to the ranch and seen the cows and now I understand why people become vegetarian. But my steakhouse mission was unsuccessful, so my very, very hungry body motored down the coast. Oh, food, food, yes, food. Have food oh yes, please. Thank you, thank you. Just what I need. 1 p.m. <laughs> Happy now. Yes. <laughs> so, Paulina is yeah. your wife? Paulina is my grandmother. Oh, okay. Grandmother. Oh, very uh, good. Uh, grandmother of Colonel Kabog. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. Commander that out, Colonel Kabog. Yeah. Ah, very okay. good. <laughs> Okay, see you next time. Eh? Okay, bye-bye, okay. bye-bye. And I saw this 200 meters away. Kulas is gonna hate me. In Masbati, I keep finding really unique lighthouses. That's not really a lighthouse, but I think it counts, right? Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Kulas, bring the ring to Masbati. Of course I wanted to climb it, but that wasn't possible. So I just continued down the coast. Oh man, I... It's a nice bathroom as well. I must apologize. I should stop off at places and have a look around, but it's so hot and I'm just... One of those days I'm hiding in the aircon. <laughs> Oh, Masbati though, awesome island, and this side of the island really has a different feel to it. It feels more like the Visayas. The rest of Masbati is awesome, it's cattle country, and then you go into the mountains and you have the history. A bit different again, and the people everywhere, really, really friendly, really welcoming, happy to see you. And down here, Kateengan, I found out they speak Visaya. <laughs> but that wasn't going to stop me exploring a nearby peninsula. Here we are. Wow, okay. I see. Is this real or man-made? <laughs> I have a feeling this is man-made. That's funny. I can ride around the lagoon, I think. Oh, with the mango trees. It's a nice park, though. But that's really, it's actually pretty beautiful with its own lighthouse in the middle. Can I drive around this? I think 
they've made a lagoon here, right on the ocean. That's really, really cool. It's not what I expected, but it's nice. Little coastal park. So peaceful. And there's an island off there. Looks like a barangay. Or maybe it's a resort, I don't know. It looks pretty cool, eh? Here we are, facing Sama. I think that's Sama. I think so. Or maybe it's... No. I don't know what we're facing, to be honest with you. It's beautiful. A province of many revelations. Oh, oh sige. James Amparado. I'm Mark Jamie at the Pulubutiga. Shout out to Lau Steria J. Yes! How much do you want to do this? There we go. There's a lot of stuff here. Pachiks. Where? Pachiks. 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 So, Pachiks. Then we're going to stream the sugar and sour. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Let's try this out. I'm not even mad. Let's see how this is. This is massive. This is amazing. Chicken oil, yes. I love the massive juices, finish it by myself. Good recommendation. And the inner cell might be the best I've had outside back a lot. I want this. Made in the city of Masbati. I've got to go back to the city of Masbati. I didn't do it any kind of justice. I want to go to Tikau. I want to go over to San Pasqual. There's so many more destinations. And those ones kind of facing Bicol. I left him for another trip, especially. Today has just been like an overview. The length of the island, and it's just a day full of surprises. And I could just title it, I didn't expect this, but I think that joke was about two years ago. So, the least surprising thing of the day. Cheers. It might be lonely on the road, but in the Philippines, you're never lonely. A Masbati, a fantastic province full of surprises and such diversity. This morning I was on White Sand Beach, then I passed cattle ranches everywhere. Then I went up to the mountains, a big rock and cave. Then there was the city. Then we hit this part, which is also very, very different. And then people speak Messiah. Oh. And of course, the man-made lagoon, I think it's man-made. But it's really beautiful, really awesome. It's been good. I was gonna end the video there. Because of course, if you don't know, I do one day of filming, one day of editing. That's my schedule, so today's been editing. But then, when I went to get lunch, the owner of the place invited me to go up a hill somewhere. So I'm gonna do that. Enjoy also when you visit here. Yeah, thank you. Huh? Ah, yeah. I appreciate it. I'm a yeah. little, little foreigner because you don't have, uh, this is not your place. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Huh? Thank you so much. Yeah. So this is your place? This. Yes. Oh, very nice. Uh, God gave this to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this place. This is awesome. Wow, look at that view. That's wow.